Hi, and welcome to Epic Restorations. Today, we're going to seal the gas tank on our 1930 Ford Model A. A few months ago, we removed the gas tank from our barn find 1930 Ford Model A. Over the course of the past several weeks, we've been getting the gas tank emptied, cleaned, and ready to be sealed. The first thing that we did was to remove the gas valve and drain off the old gas from inside of the gas tank. To start to loosen things up, we threw in a mixture of lacquer thinner, acetone, and a few large nuts to break loose any rust, varnish, or debris that might be stuck to the inside of the tank. We spent the afternoon shaking everything around inside the tank and then let it sit for a few nights to work its magic. A couple of days later, we drained the mixture out and poured in some MEK substitute to continue the cleaning process. After a day or two of letting it work, we drained it out and rinsed the tank out with clean water. To clean, prep, and seal our gas tank, we've decided to use POR15's Fuel Tank Repair Kit. The kit comes with two quarts of cleaner degreaser, a quart of metal prep to etch the tank, and a quart of fuel tank sealer. We began with the first quart of cleaner degreaser. The degreaser is designed to remove gum, sludge, and varnish from the gas tank. To get things started today, we mixed a quart of warm water with the first quart of cleaner degreaser. So this is the cleaner degreaser, so it's probably more of a soap. Once mixed, we used a small funnel and poured the solution into the gas tank. The directions call for shaking and rolling the tank vigorously to let the cleaner degreaser get to all of the inside surfaces of the gas tank for a minimum of 30 minutes. We turned and shook everything around real good to get a coat of degreaser on all of the tank's surfaces and began the process of letting it sit in the cleaner. Over the course of the next few hours, we would turn the tank and repeat this process over and over again until all of the surfaces of the gas tank were done. Let's slash it around a little bit. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, that's nasty. Rusty, yucky. All right, I'm gonna pull this plug. Once we were satisfied that round one was complete, we dumped out the contents of the tank, and once again, Rinse the tank out with clean water in preparation for quart number two. While rinsing our tank out with water, we discovered an unwanted guest had made its home in our gas tank. In the past, it wasn't unusual for car owners to use sticks or pieces of wood as dipsticks to check on the level of the gasoline in a tank. I got it. We can't say for certain that this piece of wood had been a dipstick, but clearly it had been dropped in the tank several years ago and had been making its home there ever since. Number two. 
With the stick out of the tank, we moved on to quart number two of the cleaner degreaser. We went through the same steps that we did with the first quart, mixing it with a quart of warm water and pouring it into the gas tank. Then we began shaking and rolling the tank to allow the cleaner degreaser to work on all of its inside surfaces. Once we felt that the degreaser had done all that it could do, we opened up the gas tank and emptied out the remains. Then, using a hose, we rinsed out the tank with clean water. Knowing it'd be a few days before we moved on to metal prep, we used a heat gun to dry out our tank so that it'd be ready for us when we returned to it. Okay. Hey, this is working really good for this heater to put it right in the, the gauge hole, the gas gauge hole. It's really warming the rest of the tank up completely. It's feeling great. Once we got back to our tank a few days later, we broke open our bottle of metal prep and poured it in. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put our metal prep in. This has an acid to it, so it's gonna etch into the metal and to clean up any rust just dissolve the rusts in there. Once we poured the entire bottle of metal prep into the tank, we rolled the tank around to coat all of its surfaces. To allow it to work, we placed the tank in different positions every half hour or so until the entire inside of the tank had been treated. already changing colors. Sure is. A lot of suds on top. It's a lot of rust. We've loosened a lot more stuff up. That's why I want to just go ahead and let it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Once we were satisfied that the metal prep had done its job, we poured it out and rinsed out the tank. And guess what we pulled out as we rinsed out the gas tank? Another piece of that homemade dipstick. In order to dry out the inside of the tank, we utilized our hot air gun again carefully going over the entire tank over and over again until it was warm and any trace of the water was gone. The final stage in the process is sealing the tank. We opened the can of fuel tank sealer and stirred it up until it was a nice uniform silver color. Once the sealer was ready, we closed up the gas gauge hole on the face of the tank with the cruddy old gas gauge and we sealed the petcock hole on the bottom of the tank with a plug. Then we poured the entire can of sealer down the funnel and into the gas tank. There, I think I got it. Next, we rolled it around slowly to coat the insides of the tank with the sealer. To coat as uniformly as possible, it helps to roll the tank back and forth, moving it up and down slowly to get the sealer into all of the corners and sides of the tank. There you go. I'll tip it just a little bit. You can see how it sloshes in there. Once we felt confident that we had gotten the sealer applied to the entire interior of the gas tank, we loosened the plug on the petcock hole and started to drain out the excess. Because the Model A has a low spot where the petcock hole is located, it's important to fully drain out as much of the sealant as possible so that it doesn't puddle up at the hole. We're almost a half a can coming out. Wow. Gotta clean those threads off. Once we had drained as much of the sealant out of the tank as possible, we cleaned the threads on the petcock hole and used a silicone plug to plug it back up again. Thread right on those threads.
After letting the sealer cure for four days, we're pretty pleased with how well it turned out. But with our project still a long way from the finish line, it'll be quite a while before a drop of gas touches this gas tank. If you guys are enjoying our videos or you found them helpful to you in some way, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And join us next time as we continue our journey breathing new life into this 1930 Ford Model A on Epic Restorations.